particular session. We will try to develop another drag and drop. This time, students will be asked to drop a label to an image or an image marker. For example, here, they will draw a cleaver to this marker, rectum. For example, here, stomach. This label, esophagus, to this label. Okay? And they will submit and it will give them this feedback. You are correct. Okay, let's do this. To start creating the test item, you need to go to your front page, go to your setting here, menu settings. Again, you go to more so that it will bring you to the front page settings. Okay, now that you see your front page setting, again, you go down to the question bank. You go straight to questions and it will open to the question editor here. So what we can do is if you have a pre-prepared category, you can just select the category here. For example, I prepared biology exam. And once I've selected the category, I'm ready to create. After clicking the category, it will bring you to the biology exam category and you will have several questions uh, under the biology category. So we will now create our new question. Again, you just click create a new question and you will be shown these options. So for this particular exercise, we will use drag and drop marker. It's the label here. Markers are dragged and dropped onto a background image, similar to drag and drop onto image. But this time you specifically ask them to drag to a particular marker as shown here. So a particular marker here. So it's where we want them to bring the, the label. So we click add. Uh, you will be brought to this particular test item editing page. So this item belongs to the category biology exams. And we can again type the name of the item. So it's a JT truck identification. Okay. So We'll type the questions. The, as I said, the question is about dragging the label here. So, so we want to identify the correct. So I'll just cut and paste this one so it will be uh, faster for me. So identify the correct anatomical part by dragging and dropping it to the appropriate marker. So if you have a Word document, you can do the same cut and paste so that your item formulation or creation will be much faster so you can again add the general feedback but you don't have to there will be a feedback um, loop below and the next step we will do is again choose a file that will be the file that will represent or the image that you will be using to, to guide the students where to drop their answers so for this, I pre-prepared an image borrowed from the internet. Here, I prepared this image. I upload a file. And here is the item. So make sure that the item will provide you with a wide width so that uh, the labels will still be within the inside of the image. So you provide enough space, like this one, I added more space on the left and the right side of the image. So what we will do now is to create the markers we will put there. So the markers, uh, we can just type the marker, let's say stomach. So the, the function of this column here is for you to to determine or to say if the marker will be used multiple times. So here, since we will be using only stomach once, we'll only use, we'll put here one. Otherwise, if you put two, then once you click, you drag stomach, stomach will remain in the, in the options. So we'll have stomach, for example, here, liver, uh, esophagus, We'll not go to all of the items just for us to 
demonstrate and we can go for example rectum okay so also uh, it will only be used once not infinite okay but if you have a for example if you have a test where you will be using the the marker multiple times then you can change the number here from one or two so for example it one answer will be used twice then you put two here now we're ready okay again you don't see what you will drag here even though you have prepared the marker so to make it visible you need to go to your drop zone and this is really nothing you can just put here like say rectangle if you want rectangle and that will be for the marker stomach rectangle for the marker liver rectangle for uh, esophagus or rectangle for your rectum doesn't matter really um, now that you've done or identified the drop zones then you go back to the image and you look here on the top edge of this image you will have several of the items all you need to do is to now bring your mouse there and click you can go to the edge of this particular shape and you can reshape it make it bigger now you see a rectum here and you put you put it where it's supposed to fit right so rectum here so let's add another one this is esophagus so i put that in this marker this is the correct position then i go liver here so make sure that the red circle corresponds to the appropriate space in your marker in your drawing so that yeah so you can again increase that one if you want to see the content more or you want to content more visible for you then we have this now so we're almost done actually so you place the drop zone and again you notice automatically the software will provide will key in the coordinates for the pixel location relative to the image and now we're ready you can edit feedback but you can just use the feedback available you can also again allow them to do multiple tries just remember that every try that they will make the uh, corresponding deduction will happen to their score and the more hint you provide the more percentage that will have to be or more scores will have to be deducted from a student's test score then we can save okay so just check if there are red marks here that would mean uh, you have to really fill it up otherwise you cannot proceed so let's review we have that and now after you check save changes and continue editing then preview will appear now we're ready to preview the item and here we go this is now the item so now your student can now just uh, drag and drop to a specific position we marked earlier so it's nice if you have a drawing and some circle that can be used by the student as the marker for the drag and drop here okay so now you have your feedback your answer is correct meaning they were able to place all the labels or the mark the labels the appropriate marker in this anatomical figure or image okay we're done simple isn't it Thank you for using this tutorial till next time have a good day